Uh, morning six of dealing with my last indiscretion. Going to detox today. First thing I need to do, pet the dog. Typical mom style. I take care of everybody else before I take care of myself. Even though this is supposed to be a video of me taking care of myself today, I have to get my chores done. So I've gotten the dogs fed, uh, and I, then I realized, oh, I didn't make the dogs food for this week. Um, so I had to pop open some um, canned uh, food that I've I've canned uh, for just that occasion. Uh, but now I am creating their food. It is pinto beans that I did get cooked last night. Um, and then since we have a plethora of eggs at the moment, I'm doing eggs with some frozen mixed vegetables. Once I get that cooked, and then I can start thinking about what I'm going to do or start implementing what I'm going to do to tending to myself. So while that is cooking, I will give you a little synopsis of what's going on. Um, I don't know if you can tell, my nose is all stopped up, my eyes are puffy. You know, I have, um, I have fought chronic allergies much of my life. Um, I, I figured out what's causing it. It is an overabundance of, um, uh, or buildup of toxins in my body. And the main trigger that does this as of late is food. And so therefore you might be deducing that I haven't been eating as well as I should. So that's number one. Yes. Um, but the, the interesting thing is, is normally when I get into what I call an indiscretion of eating something that I know is going to trigger my body, it only lasts three days. You know, so do I want this piece of cake and suffer for three days? Sure, let's eat a piece of cake. But this time it was, it was Popeye's chicken sandwich. Uh, who can pass up the Popeye's spicy chicken sandwich? that your son brought home from town. He's showing love, right? How could I pass that up? Okay, so you get the point. Uh, but that was almost a week ago. So it's been well over three days and I'm still reaping the consequences. You know, the sinus issues, you know, the allergy issues. Um, another one of my issues when I eat too much of the bad stuff is my joints hurt and, uh, and I get itchy, burny skin. And it's not like itching and burning from the outside, like it's uh, contact dermatitis. It's not that. It's from the inside um, is the easiest way I can explain it. So my plan today is to focus on me because... Part, I think part of my downward spiral of the health of my body or the outward appearance of the health of my body is I've worked all weekend as well. I'm uh, working on a big rebranding, look for that in the future, and then I'm also um, uh, have several projects uh, for family members that I'm trying to um, get finished because it's weighing on me. So I've, uh, I had intended on taking a relaxing weekend working in the garden, you know, so on and so forth, but that just didn't happen. Uh, I ended up sitting on my computer all weekend long and I was sedentary. And I, I get into this mode, um, I call it a perfectionist mode of where I start on a project and I focus on nothing else in life except for eating in the project and sleeping in the project and going over and over again. I'm sure some of y'all can uh, relate to this. Um, 
but then that puts many other projects off and then it puts yourself off uh, even though I immensely enjoy what I do um, I do have to make myself stop and and have that downtime as well let me check the eggs Getting there. The dogs are gonna love this. So today I am doing a fasting, um, and I'm going to do a food fast and a um, a an electronic fast. Uh, so, what does the food uh, fast entail? I am not going to ingest any food. It's just going to be focusing on liquids um, and. I do have a caffeine addiction I do know that and I don't want to pile a, a massive caffeine headache on top of this so I am going to add a little bit of tea to this uh, some caffeinated tea but not as much as I would normally drink just enough to keep from um, having that headache and I know um, uh, that is a no don't do that type of moment but as I explained I don't want to pile on a, another symptom on to my already crappy feeling so what is the number one thing you can do for yourself every day to help your body uh, uh, release the toxins and uh, just be overall healthy. I got a clue for you. Drink water. <laughs> That's it. It's drink water. Most people that are fatigued uh, during the day is because they're dehydrated. Did you know that? So, I'm always asked when I start talking about drinking water, how much water do you need? Uh, and is a, there is a good, a good, easy math equation. Math so early in the morning? I know, but this is easy. I'm, I'm, I'm telling you. Uh, it is take your body weight, uh, your real body weight, not what you tell other people that you actually weigh. Uh, it's what you legitimately weigh and divide it in half. Now, don't we all wish we could just do that? divide our body in half. <laughs> anyway, I'm digressing. <laughs> you take that, divide it in half, and that's how many ounces of water that you need to drink at minimum each day. So this is a 44 ounce cup. I need to drink about two and, and a little more. So uh, my goal every day is to drink three of these cups of water. And I know you're probably saying, oh my God, three 44 ounce cups. It's really not all that hard whenever you get into the habit of doing it. Uh, and since I'm detoxing, uh, one of the things that I'm going to do is add um, some fruit to it. And normally I would add lemon. I don't have any lemon, but I do have some oranges. And these are some awesome oranges that my neighbor gave me. And that's why they look a little imperfect, but imperfect on the outside doesn't mean that they're not perfect on the inside because these oranges are the best oranges that I've had in years, I'm telling you. But uh, I'm going to use it uh, for uh, a type of detox today. And it's really easy. I'm just going to cut these up into, uh, cut this up into quarters and then squeeze in the juice. And then throw in the rind. And yes, the rind does look imperfect, but I did wash it, so it actually is clean. Um, and then the others I put in a container to save for later. So the next thing that I'm going to do as I drink this water uh, is to take a nice cleansing shower, but I'm not going to take you along. I will leave you with uh, some relaxing music and some nice scenery. How's that? So there we go.
not in my shower, um, I want to address my symptoms. Uh, you know, my nose uh, was stopped up when I first got to uh, or got up, but now that I've had a nice hot shower, it's running again. So uh, one of the things that I love for allergies is uh, this right here, stinging nettle. And stinging nettle is an uh, antihistamine. Uh, and I will normally make my own allergy pills, which I do have a, um, a video on, and I will leave in the description section. It is made with stinging nettle, clover, and ginger. And I will put it in a capsule and take it I, as a, um, an allergy remedy. Uh, you don't have to have it, you don't have to buy it in capsule form. You know, like I said, I make my own capsules. I have um, uh, stinging nettle as a um, loose leaf herb. And then you can also find it, it uh, should be readily available um, in a tincture form. And it is easy to make a tincture. I have a video on that. I'll leave it in the description. So I'm um, still drinking my first cup of water. So I did make it, drank a couple of, uh, of gulps of it, and then took a shower. So, uh, and it's only been half an hour or so. So my next step is what you can consider stage two of what my underlying issues are. It is the mental um, the mental stress, the mental buildup, um, and the not slowing down. So I'm going to work on that today. And uh, as part of today, I will not be using any electronics other than maybe my phone. Uh, well, I guess that shouldn't be fair. Uh, that's not fair to say because I am going to allow myself to watch uh, some YouTube videos on um, self-improvement uh, if I uh, uh, so choose through the day. Fix and sneeze. Ugh, that's just so aggravating. All right, let me see if I can pick myself back up. <laughs> but anyway, so here's stage two, and it is to deal with the mental. And um, what I've got going here is, I don't know if you can see, can you see that little purple machine right there or that purple glass? That is a uh, essential oil diffuser, uh, and what I'm using today is lemongrass. Can you see that? Um, and I have picked lemongrass, uh, lemongrass for clarity. Um, it is good for clearing the mind, and and that is part of my issue. My mind is just going like a hamster wheel. Um, I haven't slept very well in the last couple of nights, uh, which is just de going further and further and degrading my health. But it is fixable. And that is why I have all these uh, different books out here uh, and it's not necessarily that I am going to be using every one of these books and using every one of these practices today but I did decide to pull them out because uh, each piece of my uh, my brain keep going uh, there's different aspects to it one is I haven't slowed down enough to just think and be and uh, be with the Creator and that's why I have my Bible and my Bible journal. And then right there, that is my personal journal that as something hits me um, to help me grow, I, I put it in, in that journal, um, my spiritual journal. Um, my spiritual journal. It's not something that is intended for others to view. It's, I mean, it's the core of me. Anyway, so that's that. And, and then I also have right here, uh, this uh, purple one, uh, that is uh, for some brain dumping uh, and spiritual work. And then uh, the journal underneath or the notebook underneath is my planner and that is to dump all of the stuff that needs to be done for business, dump it on paper and get it out of my head. Um, I do rather good at being able to work off the list in my head until the list gets so big it starts affecting me. And 
I always try to sit down and get it on paper and, and work on it on paper. That way I don't have to keep thinking about it. But as you can see in the state I am in, I have faltered in that. And part of that is, is I get into that focus of, you know, got to do, got to do, got to do and never slow down enough. Uh, I never allot myself time to sit down and be and, and just relax. And this is part of relaxation. And uh, I'm just going to sit down and start writing. It's three o'clock or actually closer to 3.30. Uh, so I have been writing in my journal uh, much of the day. Uh, I did do a Bible study um, uh, and then went back uh, to um, answering some questions about who I am. So I've done the brain dump and I am uh, proceeding with trying to narrow down um, what I could do better to get out of the stressful situations that I'm in. I am tired. Uh, my eyes hurt. My hand hurts. I think it's time to go do some meditation and maybe even a little bit of a nap. Uh, we've got scouts tonight, so I, I got to take uh, my youngest to scouts in a few hours. So uh, if I'm going to get a nap in, it's going have to going to have to be right now. So with that said, uh, I do think that I have been extremely successful, and and I think I'm even going to extend uh, my self care and self love to another day because, um, I'm nowhere near being done and I don't want to push myself, um, to the point where it's no longer helpful, um, kind of thing. So, uh, my water, uh, this is my second thing of water, uh, and I'm almost done, uh, doing extremely well, uh, with the fasting, uh, which I've done that before, so it's not like it's new to me. Uh, I am getting a few hunger pains, um, but I think it is worthwhile of just getting rid of everything that I need to get rid of at this time period. So, like I said, I'm going to go take a nap, and then I'll check back in with you uh, later on this evening. Well, it is now about nine o'clock at night. We've just gotten back from Scouts uh, and I've made it through another day. Uh, and I think I did good today for a detox day. Um, I uh, fasted uh, most of the day. I did have a small salad for, I guess you could call it a dinner tonight, uh, but it was just a salad. Uh, other than that, um, all I've had is uh, water, which I did have my um, uh, recommended amount of water of the uh, three of those cups of water. Uh, and then I worked on uh, getting stuff out of my mind. 
uh, through journaling. Uh, I did some journaling and some scripting today um, and just started. Uh, I didn't do any planning, but I got a list started. Um, I've got quite a bit of brain work to do tomorrow. I will probably do the same thing tomorrow because I'm still feeling tired, really tired. Uh, even though I did lay down, I didn't get a nap uh, per se, but I did lay down um, and just rested uh, and did some meditation uh, this uh, this afternoon before our evening events. Um, Monday nights is kind of the uh, the most hectic night of the week. Uh, which I am blessed that it's only Monday nights now in only two more months. <gasps> Yay! <laughs> anyway, um, so there it is. I hope I gave you some pointers on detoxing, um, and I hope as my efforts uh, and I hope my efforts will uh, help me out in the detoxing. Uh, I'll check in in a couple of days and let you know how it is going. Uh, but uh, if this video gave you any good information, give it a thumbs up. And uh, leave in the comments section some of the things that you do when you feel run down and cruddy. What are some of the things that... Uh, uh, or your detox methods, because that's exactly what they are, is detox me methods. Uh, I will talk with you again soon, and until then, get healthy, be happy, and herbal on. Good night.